What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about three different things in this video primarily here today. We'll be going over an update regarding the Wrong Turn franchise. We'll be going over an update regarding this Anaconda reboot. Kind of a rumor mostly really. And also we'll round it out by talking about Welcome to Derry, which we know is currently filming out in Canada. But just to kick it off with Wrong Turn, Wrong Turn creator Alan McElroy revealed that he'd like to make two sequels to the reboot that recently came out with our foundation that was uh back in 2021 he wrote the screenplay for that this was the first time he was directly involved in any of the follow-ups this excerpt that I'm reading is coming from Bloody Disgusting, but Alan shared these comments with Entertainment Weekly. He said, I plan two more films, so there would be a trilogy based around this idea of the foundation and these characters. I'd love to finish it and see it all come out the way I want it. Now, me personally, I think most fans would prefer the type of approach that was more serious with that recent entry, but bring back our original family of killers and make a sequel to one of the predecessors, whether that be the original movie or even the sequel. Because I would argue that the foundation film that just came out was the best movie since the second one, not the best one since the original. I just think it was the best one since the second one. That's just my own opinion on that. I enjoy all the wrong term movies. I think they're fun to look at. I don't find any of them boring, but of course the quality is progressively getting worse with each new entry. Uh, I would like to see this approach that we got for the foundation movie done with a direct sequel to the original. Bring back a character like bring back Eliza Dushku's character. Hell, do something that connects those first two movies and bring back those survivors from those first two movies. That would be something that I would love to see in a direct sequel to those first two movies. But I doubt anything will happen with Wrong Turn anytime soon. Jumping into Anaconda. The Anaconda reboot that was first reported back in 2020 has some new rumors circulating from scooper Dan Daniel Rickman. The script is officially being penned by Evan Dougherty, and that was first reported back in 2020 with the initial announcement, so we know that part was at least official then. Dougherty's take on the new Anaconda will not be a remake or a sequel, but a reimagining according to the Hollywood Reporter when they reported this, which notes that Columbia Pictures is hoping for a Meg style approach for the concept. Now, given that was three years ago, I wonder if Evan is even still a part of it, but we'll see. More recently though, Tom Gormican has been mentioned as a director tackling the upcoming film, and it would appear that he might be reuniting with his unbreakable weight of mass and talent crew because these are some other rumors that have recently come out. Nicolas Cage apparently was offered a role in this film, film, but now according to Rickman, Paul Rudd, yes, Tommy Doyle from Halloween 6, and Pedro Pascal, who also starred in Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, not, not uh, Paul Rudd, just Pedro Pascal. Both of them have also been offered roles too, apparently. We'll have to see what happens because filming is supposed to happen later this year, and Paul Rudd battling a giant snake does sound like it could be entertaining to me but again everything is all about execution are you guys looking forward to the anaconda reboot do you really not care one way or another because this seems like they've been working on this for quite some time and i can only imagine how the rider strike might be impacting their filming plans because we haven't heard a single thing about filming outside of what was just reported from production weekly i think that's where the filming later this year part came from from production weekly but we'll see how all of this progresses now the last thing i wanted to talk about here today is welcome to dairy welcome to dairy we know is currently filming in canada and we know it's going under the working title of fairview it will be a prequel to andy's recent it films from 2017 and 2019 andy muschietti we know will be returning to direct several episodes including the pilot we are meeting a new member of the Bowers family who is chief of police. We have a new Losers Club we can expect to meet, and we know it's set in 1960s. It'll revolve around four kids in a town bordering an Air Force base with a mysterious special projects bunker. Search for a friend of theirs who disappeared mysteriously. Now, some set images are circulating online, and shout out to the Welcome to Dairy Max page because now we know three kids that have gone missing during Pennywise's latest cycle Peter, Daniel, and Jenny. But we'll have to wait till 2024 to find out what happened to them or if these missing kids will even have any real significance to the overall story. 
Glimpses of the younger cast have been shared online too, but I was not able to verify who these young stars were, so I don't have their names to share. But I'll leave a link in the description to the video footage of them filming so you can get a, get an understanding of what it is I'm referring to. Now, recently, I also shared that the episode title for Walking the Dairy Episode 3 would be titled Now You See It. And thanks to my trusted source, MTD, I can share that Episode 5 is apparently titled The Stars Like Rain. Now, I'm not sure what those two titles mean, but we'll find out sooner rather than later. And as for Bill Skarsgård, he hasn't been spotted on set, but I do want to remind everyone. This is supposed to film for quite a while, I believe. So his scenes can be shot last if necessary. Filming out of order is a thing. And actually, I believe it's, again, more common than you think. So that's why, like when people were seeing the reports, I think this was for Halloween ends. Jamie Lee Curtis had wrapped filming, but they kept filming without her. So I think people were jumping to the conclusion, oh, she's not going to be living. She's not going to live. Oh, Gail Weathers, another example, Gail Weathers, she... She had her scenes wrapped before they were done filming and people thought that Courtney Cox's character of Gail Weathers must be dying in the upcoming movie. It doesn't it doesn't mean that at all. Just because he's not currently there and filming his scenes doesn't mean he won't be involved in the project. He very well so could appear later on in production and they can shoot his scenes that will be edited together in the correct order that they will appear in. Filming out of order, again, it's a thing. It happens more often than not. I have full confidence that Bill Skarsgård will return. He did state that currently he was not involved, but that doesn't mean he didn't ink a deal to reprise his role, and I think he did. You guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.